Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're switching back to the uh, CNC machine a bit. Uh, one of the things, if you probably remember from a prior video, we printed this um, this board for the Saint Smart uh, dual relay board. I've got it now wired into my uh, garble. Uh, which is connected to my drivers, which are in which are an old parallel port, which uh, I've done a video on where I've converted it now to be driven from the garble. So uh, what we've done here is we've added uh, spindle control to the spindle on the probotic over here, which hopefully you can see in the, the wide angle of the camera. Uh, basically, I'm using a porter cable spindle, and what I did is I built this control box here. So. Um, each one of these relays controls one of these plugs. So this, these two plugs are hot all the time. These two plugs, I, I've separated the jumper on the plug, and so each one of these are controlled by one of these relays. Now, I have to warn you, this is being switched for line voltage, so I'm now I'm getting my hand rather close now. It's, it's kind of covered, but there's still 110 volts on the other side of this. So you have to be careful. One of the things that, that I've done I'm not sure if you can see if I tip it forward. I've cut the leads of the wires very short and I've tinned them so they are all inside the header. I don't have any exposed copper outside of the headers. So basically I only have the screws on top of the, the, uh, the header that are, that are exposed to power. Also, as if you saw in the last video that I did, I left a bottom on this so uh, the, the bottom uh, where the headers are soldered into are still insulated. So. Uh, anyways, uh, just a safety note there. And what I've done is I've run this in here so you can see one side I have power coming in, which plugs into the power strip in the back. And then the other side I have a line coming out which takes the power from this plug, brings it to this, this, this set of relays, and then splits it out and then takes it back to each one of these plugs. So again, each one of these plugs are separate. The idea what I want to do is not only control my spindle on and off, However, also do a laser. I'm going to be doing a video shortly. Uh, I built a 2-watt laser, which I'm going to attach on here for prototyping. I'm actually building a dedicated laser, but that's going to come in the near future. That's still a work in progress. However, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. I had some challenges in doing this, because if you look at the... Because this is Gerbil 9, and if you look at the pinouts... Um, it really says, I think it's pin 12, is spindle enable, but that's really not utilized because um, what happens is by default it's set for pulse width modulation of the spindle to take uh, the output and drive a, a spindle speed control. So that pin really doesn't work. So I spend about uh, 15 20 minutes of you know, sending M commands to it, attempting to make it work, and uh, couldn't. Did a little work, search on the threads, and, and what you need to do is actually, I believe, go to pin 13, which is really rated as spindle direction, and use, I believe, M3 and M4 to activate it. And so, you know, that does work. So, you know, right now, it's set in spindle lock, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the G-code sender, and I'll send... Um, in M03. And when I did that, you could hear the, the, the spindle fire up um, and do its thing, so like it's supposed to, and then I sent an M4 to turn it off. Um, the nice, the, well, I should say the nice thing, but the, the, the workable thing about that is I'm going to be using Inkscape with the JTEC plugin to drive the laser, so I can simply tell it you know, on is M03, off is M04, and it'll insert the codes into the G code as it creates it. So that, that, that'll work for me in that case. Now, you can change the, uh, the configuration H file in Gerbil and recompile it to make, to make pin 12 work. That's what I'm going to do. I just haven't had a, had a chance to do it before this video, and I wanted to get this uh, video out. So that's what I will do. I'll put some stuff in the... Uh, in the, on the website about that, uh, the little bit of matrices. I think it was one of the developers of, or, or the maintainers of Garble, Gerbil, what have you, uh, actually put a post out on this is what I found and so greatly appreciate it and I'll put that up. Um, I do have a warning though. 
um, because of the way this is set up, because what happens is so long as the pin is held high, these relays don't activate. If the pin goes low, the relays activate. So if I unplug this and then plug it back in, what you see, what you see is the spindle turns on. Not a great safety feature in my opinion. Actually, uh, when that happened, when I turned the computer off and that and it went on, it, did, it uh, actually startled me a little bit because I wasn't expecting that quite. So uh, again, sort of a safety tip with that. Be very careful of that, especially when you're doing automation around spindles, lasers, and that kind of stuff or anything that can move and uh, that be very careful. However, all in all, I, I really like the, the, the setup, the combination. I'm going to do a little bit better with the wire management here, but for right now, the biggest thing is I'm trying to get it all set up to, I want to be able to test the laser, get some movements out of it, see what I can do with it before uh, moving on and actually finishing the build of the larger laser frame. So I'm going to use the probi probotic to do that. And I also want to do some posts on the probotic uh, with, with the laser because others that just want to maybe reuse a CNC machine uh, will find it uh, useful. So anyways, um, hopefully this helped you out. Interesting little project. Um, not a lot of money. Uh, again, I'll have links to this relay board and everything in the website and on, on the YouTube channel, so if you're interested. And again, you can look up the build for this. It's on my Thingiverse page, so you can build it and mount it. Um, uh, just again be careful with the line voltages and back especially if you get kids or something around uh, Be very careful. I think in a future version. I'm going to build the cover to go on this box, but uh, that'll be another project so uh, Please hit like below subscribe to the channel as there'll be more coming. Cheers